when we released our first camper tour, we got such a positive response. We wanted to share some more insight into our motorhome. That video racked up over 300,000 views and counting as it still continues to go today. And we're getting all this positive feedback that people are saying, this is the most beautiful motorhome that I've ever seen. This is the best remodel. People are so complimentary. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you why our motorhome is so special, all the things we did for it, and why people absolutely love that video tour that we did. So come on inside. Hi. Hi. What you doing? I'm putting some stuff away. And I'm also half asleep. <laughs> so you can see the very best part of Mike Motorhome is my beautiful wife, Lindsay. She hasn't had her coffee yet, I'll give her that. If you don't have your coffee, maybe you're the same way. Beautiful, of it's course. Almost, it's almost done. Beautiful. And then I'll be ready. You are ready. This is it. This is the tour. <laughs> this is the tour. So we are in the camper. You can probably tell that by now because I walked inside the door. So here we are in our lovely living room slash office slash kitchen slash driving compartment. And now I'm going to show you around, show you some of the really cool things that we did with this camper um, as we were remodeling it and why it looks the way it looks right now. First thing you may notice is this place is a mess. It is an absolute mess. And uh, that's because this is life on the road. This is real hashtag RV life, hashtag van life, hashtag whatever. This is life on the road. We have been camped at a place for about three weeks now. And so we've spread out our life the way that anybody would. When you have a big old home, you can tuck things away in closets and doors and don't even hang up stuff or whatever. You just throw it underneath here or there or wherever, or maybe you put it away where it's supposed to go. But we, uh, we live the little life. And so the little life is a messy life. But oh, we love it. So literally front and center in our camper is our television. And it's, uh, it wasn't supposed to be that way, but it turned out it, worked, it works perfect. Um, really what we have here is a slide out bed for, um, I don't know who would sleep in that. We don't have kids, but somebody who had kids could potentially build some kind of a ladder device and throw people up here. There was a thin little mattress, um, but this slides in and out, which is cool. And, uh, what we do with it is we just, we put stuff on it. Lots of stuff. Um, the television, of course, is the center, center point. Um, over here, I've got my, this is my second closet um, right here. These are clothes that I'll wear later. Oh, that's not, that, that's not mine, that's Lindsay's. Lindsay's second closet's over here. <laughs> Usually I'd have my change of clothes throughout the day, just kind of up here because it's a whole lot easier in a 20 foot motorhome, a 30 foot motorhome, to put things here than have to go and walk 20 feet back into my closet. Um, but this is a great storage area for extra clothes. The idea was this was gonna be a standing office. It a, was a radio, I think it's a fad, it's gone now. Um, but standing offices were supposed to be very ergonomically correct for your body. I thought, great, this is perfect for me. It's a perfect height for me to type away on my computer that was supposed to be here. But it's just so much more convenient to not do that, and so we don't. On the other side of the front, that is a plant. You know where plants, I know where plants belong. Maybe you do too, but plants belong outside, not in a motorhome. But because we have a beautiful motorhome and motorhomes can only be beautiful if you have plants in them, we have a plant hanging over there. No, we don't drive. We found that out the first time when we forgot to move it and it just smacked up against the window. Unfortunately, it didn't break the window. But that is, of course, uh, a, a bonus to having enough room that you can put plants in your motorhome. Plants purify air. So yes, plants do belong in a motorhome. Yeah, but we fart so much that those plants aren't doing anything. No, no. they purify air. That's what they're good for. So there you have it. Plants purify air. We have about seven plants. Um, they're family members, according to Lindsay, so they can never go missing. And, and it's strange because we'll stop someplace for a little while and then we'll get another one. We started out with two and now we're up to seven. As far as I know, there might be more. But uh, plants are an important part of a motorhome. So when we remodeled, Lindsay had it in her mind. She said, this is where this plant's going. This is where that plant's going. No joke, she had already picked out the macrame that they were gonna be hanging in because plants are part of a good motorhome. Now, if we had to pack up and leave in a hurry, there's no way in, that we'd be able to do that because, well, 
our front storage area is pretty occupied right now. What I just made up the term front storage area is really the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Um, but that's more storage area when we're stopped. We put everything there, everything that won't fit anywhere else. So like when we take our Starlink out, we put the box there. We've got pillows, the kind that, that, that you know, as throw pillows, I call them, I call them throwaway pillows. We've got throwaway pillows like plants. There's actually a pillow for every plant, a throwaway pillow for every plant in our camper. So we have a whole lot of things that we don't really need, but it makes it look pretty. And that's important when you're doing videos like this. So uh, we've also got our guitar, my guitar. I just restrung it after six years of not playing it and carrying it. Every day we travel, the guitar goes on the bed while we're traveling. And then when we get wherever we're going, we put it on the seat. It's not a simple process for something you don't use every day. And that's really important when you're in a camper is to have everything that everything that you're carrying with you is important if you you got to use it. If you don't use it, you should throw it away. I should probably throw the guitar away, but instead I spent 30 minutes restringing it. We we come to Baja Mexico every winter and it's really exciting in Baja Mexico because people like to play ukuleles on the beach where we are and so we bought Lindsay a ukulele. It's kind of like my guitar was sad. It didn't have a friend. And so we bought it a ukulele that doesn't get played either. So not only do we move the guitar now twice every day when we're driving, we move it to the bed. When we're not driving, when we're done, we move it up front. Now we move a ukulele as well. That's phenomenal. We also have miscellaneous things like a yoga mat, um, hand sanitizer. We still carry that. Lindsay's got a purse and we've got a backpack of miscellaneous stuff in there. There's probably seven. Seven is a number when you have a motor home like this. But there's probably seven dog toys that Huckleberry is hidden somewhere down there. He's kind of like a cat sometimes and he goes in these tiny little crevices or crevasses depending on where you're from and uh, he hides stuff. So that is, well, I didn't show you what we have actually in storage. So one of the reasons we love this, it's a 1999 model motorhome, is they actually made wood using wood. Like they made cabinets using wood instead of, I don't know what, what's, what's not wood. So up front, we've got lots of great storage for stuff. So you can see there's stuff over there and then there's some stuff over there. We have enough room that we put shelves with more stuff in them. And this, this one's great. It opens up the other way and there's stuff. It's important when you spend as much time on the road as we have, it's important to know where your stuff goes. And so what we do is we just open up a cabinet and we just put stuff inside the cabinet and then it's there. And then you just have to figure out which one it is later on when you need it. But the idea is the bigger the motorhome you have, the more storage you have for stuff. And that's important when you're living on the road. There's some purists out there that say you only need like 17 things in your camper or else you're not really living the RV life or whatever. And like, that's garbage. You need to have enough stuff that you don't even know what stuff you have. Flipping the angle around a little bit is our desk. This is where we actually do do work. I just said doo-doo. <laughs> I just realized that we do do work here <laughs> on the desk. Um, the lighting is awful right now. When you're doing your tour video, you've got to make sure you have the lighting right because people will notice that and they'll call you out on it and they'll say, why didn't you turn on the light before you stood there? And then you're like, well, I didn't think about it, but you got to think of everything. So on the desk, we have our two computers. That's one thing. The plants multiply on their own. The stuff that we have multiplies on its own. Even the guitar and mandolin or uh, ukulele, they multiplied on their own. But I would love for our computers to multiply on their own because they're expensive. And so we let them sleep together, literally. They're in sleep mode right now. And my hope is one day I'll walk out here and we'll have a baby computer. One thing that you'll notice immediately if you're looking at me right now is uh, there's a plant in my armpit. <laughs> the plants everywhere in this camper. So this plant sits on the desk and it takes up room that we could be using other things for, but it purifies the air. Our plants multiply. Our computers do not. But we do have our desk, which is great, um, except underneath our desk is where our dog's bed is. We used to have more space for the dogs, but we decided we didn't have enough stuff that we like to eat. So we put more stuff that we eat, which is food, into a little mini freezer, a little portable freezer, which is great because now we have so much food, I don't even know what we have anymore. I love my mom, and I don't think she's watching, 
but I grew up in a house where we had three refrigerators and freezers. So I think part of me is just panicked that if, if end times came, we wouldn't be able to drive to the grocery store and get food. So we keep a lot more of that there. Next to the desk, very important, especially here in Mexico, we have a fantastic five gallon drinking container. That's important because we bought this RV from a guy who didn't even think to pull the black tank handle and dump, he, dump his poo before he let the RV sit for seven years. So there's no way in heck we're drinking any water that comes out of the water tank. So we keep our own water and our own little five gallon water tank, which is awesome. You've probably seen them before. We put an electric pump on there, a USB pump, which is really convenient until you're ready for water and the pump is out of energy. So it's nice. There are handheld pumps, but that takes too much work. So we just went with this one and it works pretty nice most of the time. And then behind me, of course, we have these real wood cabinets. One of the most negative things that we ever received comment wise that we get all the time is why would you paint your wood cabinets white? And my answer for that is, I don't know, but Lindsay told me to, so I did it. We wanted to make this feel like home, like a messy home and we did. And so uh, we got stuff in each of these cabinets, which is great. So we like to keep books. Um, I can't tell you what books are in here because we put these in here just to look pretty for the video that we did two years ago, and they're still here. We've not taken a book out to read. I don't even know that I can read anymore. We watch so much TV. Our bookshelf has books that are big and heavy, and um, we don't really get into them. Like over here's some more stuff. This is actually important stuff. Lindsay and I are on a pretty serious vitamin regimen, um, vitamins and supplements to go along with the fact that we do not eat vegetables. And so we have to, um, that I mentioned we have a cooler full of meat, but we don't eat vegetables. So we take lots of supplements. Uh, then we got a lot of camera gear because you have to understand if you are going to live this life and you are going to be an influencer, you are going to have to have a lot of cameras, a lot of cameras. There's no way you can have just one camera that does everything. So we've got a whole lot of cameras in here. Oh, and we've got Droney. That fell into the ocean. So we have Droney. Droney took a dive and the drink. And um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't my fault, but I'm really not certain. So DJI is awesome. If you're an influencer, when you become an influencer, if you're aspiring to be an influencer, you cannot do a tour video without having a drone flyover. Crap. We can't do it. We can't do it. Can't do a tour video because the drone will fly over. So this may be it for the tour. I wish I I wish I had thought more forward before crashing the drone into the water that uh, we were gonna need it for the tour. On this side of the camper, the opposite side, you just, in order to do that, you just pivot. You just, one side, one side. And so on this side over here, we got more stuff. Look at that, more stuff. Coffee. Oh, can you hand me the uh, coffee stuff there? Oh, you need stuff? Yeah, I need stuff. Can you catch? Thank you. All right, Stuff. good job. More stuff. That's um, stuff for Lindsay's stomach stuff that she has going on. Lindsay has Crohn's disease, so it's important that we manage that. And that's um, part of not eating vegetables and eating supplements is because that helps maintain her body. She's laughing. <laughs> we, we do eat vegetables, but we only eat vegetables on Tuesday. And this year we had to skip every other Tuesday because, you know, inflation, it, it hurts things. So more stuff up here in these cabinets which is, um, you know, that's where stuff goes. One of the most exciting builds I did in this camper actually took uh, about five days of watching YouTube videos. The same video, by the way, like five days worth, trying to figure out how in the world did this person do that? And what I found is they didn't show me. That's why I had to watch it seven times. I'm like, did I miss it? No, I didn't miss it. They just didn't show me how they built this couch. So I had to figure out how to build a couch myself one that would pull out and one that would hinge so we could lift it up because guess what we're storing underneath the couch? Stuff, more stuff. You gotta have stuff in an RV. The stuff we're storing underneath the couch is really important. It is our battery system, our inverter, our solar charge controller, um, all of our power equipment, all of our key power equipment is underneath the couch. So that's important, but you're not gonna see that in this video because there's no way in heck I can get underneath it because, well,
who would ask her to move? Um, moving into our kitchen area, I'm gonna turn a light on because you can't be an influencer if you don't have the proper lighting. So the light's on in the kitchen. Lindsay is at work, hard at work in the kitchen, making her coffee. If I'm lucky, I'll get coffee too. That's good, we've got a lot of space, a lot of counter space. And you guess it, what goes on top of the counter? Stuff. Stuff. There Look is, at all this stuff. There is more stuff. So I have this thing um, because I'm a little bit, you wouldn't believe it watching this video, but I'm a little like A type, I like organization. And it really freaks me out when stuff isn't put where stuff belongs. But that's, um, that's what happens here. Every night I wash the dishes and I, I can't wake up in the morning and have, have dirty dishes in the, in the sink. And there is one in the sink and it's driving me crazy. But I'm just going to pretend like it's not there because for the purpose of this tour, you have to see how pretty our camper is. And that's just part of the prettiness. Yeah. We did a phenomenal job in the kitchen, um, really getting rid of the crappy old RV stuff. And you can probably tell we've got a nice residential faucet, a deep sink. There was a reason why we, we added a deep sink. Why did we add a deep sink? So we could have more room for stuff. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully you're catching on. Did you answer that before we said it? <laughs> We have to have more room for stuff. So we put a deep sink in. Do you see what's hiding over by the window? Do you see it? Oh, Lindsay's gonna help out. I don't even know what that is. A plant. It, it's something like- It's a like, string of hearts. Something That's like that. That's my favorite. So you may notice that we had the space here where most people would put a microwave or where a microwave would be. And if you said that is where a microwave would go, then you are exactly correct. This is where a microwave would go but a microwave used too much power, and so we replaced it with an air fryer that uses more power than the microwave used. The logic there blows my mind, but that's what we did. The air fryer is pretty nice and convenient, except we can't actually use it here because it gets so hot that all the heat would go up there and it would melt the whole camper, start a fire, and then we wouldn't have a motor home to give you a tour of. Lindsay also picked out beautiful colors. Um, she's got this like blue, green, teal, bluish thing color going on. And it's going on in a lot of different places. It's called an accent from what I'm understanding, um, but I probably am not right in that. It just pulls different colors from different places, kind of like stuff being in stuff place, places. <clears throat> the color just comes out of places when you add green, blue, teal. Um, but she's got that kind of, well, it's only in one spot actually, it's in the kitchen. Yeah, it's in the bedroom too. Oh, it is in the bedroom. That's how well I know my camper. <laughs> We haven't changed the picture since 1979 because uh, that was... We weren't alive in 1979. That was our wedding. <laughs> that was our first year on the road. That was our first... Those two days were within... All three of these. Yeah, so... Stay on the road. Oh, there's one more thing you got to know in the kitchen. One more thing. And that is there's another cabinet. With stuff. You guessed it. Stuff. Like I this. actually like our kitchen cabinet. This cabinet makes the most sense. <laughs> so that is our kitchen. Now we've moved through the front of the camper. We've moved through our living room, desk area, into the kitchen. Now I'm going to take you into the bathroom. In the bathroom, there's a lot going on, which is fantastic. It's phenomenal. So behind my towel that's hanging up, we have a shower. It is a beautiful shower, as long as we remember to clean it. When we don't clean it, it's not a beautiful shower. But we have a full-size shower. I can stand in there thanks to the skylight. I'm six foot four, which is not ideal for RV life. Um, but I can stand inside the shower. Next to the shower, immediately next to the shower is a sink. We have a butcher block countertop as well. We have a vessel sink and uh, a little faucet, another residential faucet. This, Lindsay cheated and she cleaned this up. This is usually full of so much stuff. I didn't clean the sink. No, but around the sink. There's like, there's usually so much stuff that, I, you know, like when it comes time to take our nighttime medicine or whatever, I just grab a bottle and take whatever's there because there's just too many to choose from. I can't find what I'm looking for. You just grab what you can. But guess what's behind the mirror? I'm gonna give you three seconds. One, two, three, stuff. Look at that, we've got stuff behind the counter mirror. Boom, there it is. On the other side of the bathroom, we have, I'll show you the, 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 the throne in just a moment. Um, but Lindsay's got a pretty picture back there and she folded her towel. I know she cheated because our towels are never folded. Um, but over here, we've got a cabinet. 
On the count of three, we'll say it together. One, two, three, stuff! So we've got our bathroom stuff, our cleaning stuff. All of our stuff that doesn't have a place to go with other stuff goes into this place. So look, it, it, it worked. Our two isopropyl bottles got together and had a baby. Looks like we're doing the same thing with um, our mouthwash. We haven't figured out how to do it with dollar bills yet, where they will multiply. So the main show, the main highlight of a bathroom is not the bath or the room, it's the throne, the toilet. So Lindsay and I like to boondock, which means we like to not use a lot of water where we travel and camp. We like to conserve our water and conserve our tank space. So what we did was we built a composting toilet. Except the composting toilet isn't really a composting toilet. Really, it's a glorified camping toilet where the pee gets to go one way and the poo goes the other way. Sorry, should I say that separately? The number one goes one way, the number two goes another way. The number one goes down into the holding tank, which is great, and the number two goes into a plastic bag that we have to remember to change regularly. If we don't remember to change it regularly, you guessed it, it's not very pleasant. So that's how we usually are reminded that it's time to change the poo bag, is when the poo bag smells like poo. We have built a glorified camping toilet which is fantastic, except guys, and I know there's no guys watching this because guys don't watch tour videos, but um, guys, I can't tell you how to pee anymore. That, that, I mean, pee standing up, because for the last three years of living in this camper, anytime I need to use number one, I gotta sit down. It did take me, like the couch, it took me five days of watching videos where nobody showed me anything of how to do it. So if you wanna learn not how to do a toilet, we're linking to that video right now, because, um, I didn't do it right, but it works, sort of, most days, in most ways. Our uh, buffer between the kitchen and the bathroom is another one of these. And when I open this, you're gonna know what's behind door number 17. Are you ready for it? Door number 17 has stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. I would have said it has food stuff, but the reality is it doesn't just have food stuff. It's got stuff stuff. So it's got like backpacks that are hanging and it's got belts and jackets. So this is like our winter our winter closet. Um, but we don't do winters, that's why we go to Mexico. So I don't know why we have all that stuff. Um, actually I do because we're in the business of collecting stuff. So we've got these pull out drawers and each pull out drawer has stuff in it. And some of that stuff we use, but most of that stuff, it just sits there until we're like, when did we buy that? Do you think it's good anymore? We should probably not eat it, and then we throw it out, and we replace it with more stuff. There are more cabinets underneath, but you've kind of figured out that um, what's in the cabinets is just stuff. We've got stuff for the kitchen, and we've got stuff for supplements, and we've got stuff for bags. You've got to have plastic bags when you RV, so we've got all kinds of Ziploc bags, Walmart bags. Can you say Walmart on videos if you're not getting paid? Walmart's not paying us to say their name. So should I, I don't know how that works. Aldi. So now we've inter introduced two <laughs> brands, so that way there's no conflict. It doesn't appear like we're being sponsored by Walmart, because we're not sponsored by Walmart, because Walmart doesn't sponsor anybody. We're all like Amazon, addicted to going there. Anyway, so now the very last room is, it's actually the most boring of all the rooms, because there wasn't a whole lot that we could do to it. Um, but it's our bedroom. And so the first thing you're going to notice when you look at the bedroom, What was the first thing you noticed? Leave it in the comment below. Now, if you wrote down the window is open, you are correct. The first thing you should notice is that we have windows that will open, and that's great because right now we're camped by the beach, and so, or at the beach, so we've got beautiful views, and that is the first thing you probably would have noticed when I showed you that, that video. The second thing you probably would have noticed is that the bed is not made. Why is the bed not made? Because who makes a bed? Except those people that judge people for not making the bed. I'm tired of being judged for having to make the bed. It puts unnecessary pressure on us to make the bed when in reality, the bed never gets made. But it does get made. The only time the bed is ever made, and I'll let Lindsay answer this from way far back, when does the bed ever get made? Well, we want it to look pretty on camera. There you go. When it's for a video. So this is our bed. It is fantastic. We um, we didn't have enough stuff, so we're missing a pillowcase. 
Um, I don't know why with all the stuff we have, we don't have a pillowcase for that, but we've got a pretty, pretty nice bed. It's a short queen, which is great if you're short and a queen, but if you're not short and a queen, AKA me, your feet hang off the bottom, but that's okay. Cause you can kind of sleep crooked unless your dogs sleep on the bed with you too, which we're the dog people that let our dogs sleep on the bed. So I haven't slept since 1979. Um, because the dogs keep moving around, Lindsay keeps moving around, I, and my feet are hanging off. If your feet ever hang off the back, the, the bottom of the bed, you lose blood flow and you wake up and you can't walk and you just fall on your face. It's not fun. I've done it at least seven times. But that is a short queen bed. We are very happy with the mattress that we have. In all reality, it is fantastic. It is an rvmattress.com mattress and they are not paying us to say that, so I'm not putting that in the video. As I take a look around, there's really nothing of importance to show you except the one thing I'm really proud, the one thing we really changed in the bedroom, um, aside from the curtains, which are pretty nice, um, and the paint. Oh, we did some paint in there too. Changed all the paint in there and the stuff we hung up. I guess we did, we did, we did some stuff in the bedroom. But in reality, the one thing I am most proud of is our laundry chute. It is amazing. It's, it goes into an outside bay. So if you live RV life, you know, you're probably not gonna shower every day and you're gonna wear the same clothes. I'm going on seven days wearing this right here. And, um, and that's just a part of life. So you get your clothes nice and ripe, but you don't wanna leave them in a place where you can smell them while you're living and sleeping. Because plants, as though they purify the air, they don't take the stink away. And so it doesn't matter how many plants we have, our dirty clothes will stink. And so what we did was we designed this beautiful concept where we have a little hatch that we lift up and I'll show you that. We have a hatch we lift up and then we drop our stinky clothes into it and it goes into the outside bin and there's a, a bag that collects it and all that. The problem is in doing that, it's the perfect solution, but the problem is it's not convenient. So what's more convenient is just to take off our dirty clothes and throw them on the ground and then we kick them out of the way. And then next to that, I actually built the dog bed because we didn't want our dogs to have to jump up into bed and out of bed. We wanted to give them their own bed because I told you I haven't slept since 1979. And so it's very important to have dog space. And so I built a bed for the dogs that they don't use, which is, you know, on par for the course of this tour. Now, when you lift it up, there's um, quick access to the pantry. Okay, so one thing I am gonna show you is my, um, my side of the camper. You know, in a marriage, Everything is divided equally, right? Except for stuff. And so Lindsay has that, 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 and this is what I get, which is great. I'm gonna show you why I love my closet so much. I mentioned I wear the same clothes as often as I can. It's not for the stench, it's not to try to run people off because I don't like people, although sometimes that is the case. Why I wear my clothes is because I'm frugal. Some people call it cheap. And uh, I've got so much stuff in this closet that whenever I need to go shopping, I don't really have to go shopping. I just get to go look in the back of the closet. So right now, if I wanted a new t-shirt, I don't need one because I've only been wearing this one for four days. But if I wanted a new t-shirt, I just reach into the very back and I just give it a little tug. And out comes, out comes a new t-shirt. I have not worn this shirt. I don't know when this shirt was purchased or who might have given it to me. Um, but that's how I go shopping. When I need stuff, I just go shop into the stuff that I've already got. Because when you have enough stuff, you're always gonna have enough stuff. That's a good quote. You should put that on a t-shirt. And getting to the end of this video, a lot of people like to see the outside of the camper and how we use space outside and on the roof, of course. And well, I would take you out there and I'd show you all that stuff, but really there's seven bins, um, outside bays, and they all have a lock and key on it. And what that does is it allows us to put more stuff out there. And so we do have more stuff outside that I'm just not gonna show you um, because I'm just, I'm lazy and I just wanna finish this video. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you haven't already done so, go check out the nice one where we fix all this stuff and you are going to see a night and day difference because it's just mind blowing what you can do when you're really inspired to have a video that looks great a motorhome that looks like a million dollars that 300,000 people or more are gonna watch in, in the next year. On that note, we'll see you when we see you.